What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. It means a lot. I'm in my new office. I just set it up. It's kind of working on it. Got my chalkboard. Painted chalkboard right there. Got to put trim on it. Got my homemade Gatorade for my electrolytes. And today we're getting into an episode of what's popping on eBay. I know you all love this kind of crap. You love to see what t-shirts are selling for big money. <laughs> Uh, and they still are selling for big money. It's kind of crazy. So basically, it is May 15th I'm making this video. May 15th, okay? Basically, the world in a lot of places is coming out of lockdown. A lot of places is still in lockdown, like New York and L.A. But here in Vancouver, a lot of businesses are opening up tomorrow. Our business is not opening up. We're opening up our stores a week tomorrow. We're giving it some time. We're prepping the stores, making them look all pristine, making sure that everyone's gonna be safe before we open the doors. Um, but that brings me to this COVID craziness. Is the t-shirt hype going to continue? Obviously, you know, sales have been pumping online. People are still buying stuff. You know, in April, everyone got their $1,200 stimulus check. In Canada, people are still gonna get their stimulus checks uh, every month. And, you know, it's stimulating the economy. But is it going to continue through May? We did see a little drop off in sales on Frankie in May, but not even much. Like, we're still crushing it right now. It's actually crazy. And you're going to see people are still buying t-shirts for $1,000 plus, okay? So what do you guys think? Do you think that COVID lockdown and the economic crash is going to affect the price of t-shirts? Do you think the t-shirt market's going to drop? Do you think the high end's going to drop and the low end's going to stay the same? What's your predictions? I want to know all your predictions in the comments below. Um, yeah, let's get into this. I'm going to start from the lowest to the highest. I think I picked about 15 shirts out of the eBay completed to talk to you guys about. As always, I did check. These are a bunch of these are auctions and then some are buy it nows and I checked the prices on the buy it nows but the auctions we don't know if they actually got purchased so who knows could be bidders that didn't pay but I didn't do my research I have emailed people before to find out but I didn't on these but they all seem pretty legit okay started off Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time I don't I don't know I'm not a video game nerd uh, green XL 1998 t-shirt. It's like a big print, all over print, green tee. 641 bucks for a Zelda tee, okay? This kind of blew me away, uh, higher than I would have definitely priced this, but I know video game stuff's been popping lately. So, uh, there you go. 641, auction. Okay, next up, typical vintage Marvel X-Men. Uh, 90s Wolverine all over print, multicolor, huge full print tee. These are like the grails of the um, the grails of the Marvel world. This one's on a Fruit of the Loom. Best tag, the Marvel collectors say. My best tag is Hanes Beefy. <laughs> Speaking of tags, did you see that like tag thing on Instagram now where you can like run through the tags and then it pops up on your head? Go check my Instagram stories and check that out. I'll post it again when I post this video. What tag are you? What's your favorite tag? Another question for the comments. What's your favorite tag? Okay, this one is pretty sick. This is a 97 Little Kim Freaknik. 97 Little Kim Freaknik, and she's basically tits out, ass out, and uh, yeah, this tee is next level. This is the most I've ever seen a, tea, a Freaknik t-shirt sell for. Eleven ninety nine, basically twelve hundred dollars for this one. Freaknik's tees. There's collectors out there for them. They all are worth some money. Definitely good money. But this one, because it has low cam on it, obviously pushed it over the limit there. Next up, the Grail of Iron Maiden shirts, the camo sleeve Grail. This one sold for one thousand two hundred and twenty six. Okay, this is the most sought after. Actually, there's other ones. There's other Iron Maidens that people look for more than this, and I've seen this shirt go for a lot more than this as well. There's been periods, you know, I think Maidens are down. I think eighty stuff's a bit down, but this shirt I know was going for like over two grand at one point. Okay, a Harley tee for twelve fifty, one thousand two hundred fifty bucks. Okay. 
This is just a crazy good graphic. First of all, it's uh, Pacific Hawaii, uh, Honolulu Harley dealership, which makes it super rad to begin with. But the graphic is just crazy. It's got a naked girl, it's got a skull, it's got the Harley wings, it has everything you want out of a Harley shirt, period. Everything you want out of a Harley shirt is on this one. Uh, it's OG 80s, but again, this is 1250. That's the most I've seen a Harley shirt go for, I think. The most I can remember seeing a Harley shirt go for. Definitely more than I've ever sold a Harley shirt for. Okay, next up we got this Nike, this Nike pinwheel tag, Eugene, Oregon. It's like a shop t-shirt, okay? But the pinwheel tag, that's the first tag. It was listed for $12.99. Actually took an offer of 500 bucks on this one, but a true piece of Nike history here. This one, again, surprising to me, and it's an Escher that I've never seen. MC Escher Psychedelic Skull, they listed it as, Smoking Top Hat Skull, okay? This one for $1,299.99. It's an odd Escher, like it's not the typical twisty stairs vibes or like illusionist skull. I mean, illusionist graphic. It's just a skull, top hat, smoking, super rad, super rare. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on the Andaza tag, Andazia tag. Okay. Pulp Fiction classic movie cover T fourteen fifty one thousand four hundred and fifty. Um, this T seems to keep going up. All the Pulp Fiction shirts seem to keep going up. It's crazy. So there is some people out there spending more than their stimulus check on a single T-shirt. These are all recent sales, by the way. These are recent sales. Okay, vintage flaming lips. Um, a funny story about the Flaming Lips. I saw the Flaming Lips with my wife years ago, 2008, at the Squamish Fest. We partied. This is when we were first getting together. It's kind of uh, good memories for us. I have a couple Flaming Lips shirts. This Flaming Lips shirt's rad. Sold for $15.99. And last up, this is the wall. This is the highest price shirt that I've seen. So there's nothing in the crazy range, okay? This is a, um, a Kira T, a very sort of abstract, different one that I haven't seen a lot of. I have seen this one. I don't think I've ever had this one. This one full, sold for $16.39, okay, $16.39. It's a white tee, pretty plain. It's got the Akira um, writing on the back, just a simple graphic on the front, kind of a rare one. And there you have it. Top is sixteen thirty nine. I want to know what your thoughts are. Is this t-shirt market going to continue? A thousand dollar plus t-shirts. Are they going to continue to go up? What's going to go up in the market and what's going to go down in the market? Put it in the comments. I want to start a thread here of what you guys think the t-shirt market's going to be doing. I'll keep putting these movies out because I know you like this series. What's popping on eBay? Another episode in the books. Please subscribe to this channel like this video, share it with your friends, help me out people. Okay, catch you on the next one.